What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rob on the 2014 Super Tenere. It's been a minute since I've made a video, so I thought I'd come out here and uh, make a quick video and uh, just check in and see how you guys are doing. Me, I'm doing very well. I've been working quite a bit lately and uh, doing some family things, taking some family vacations, that kind of thing. I've been riding quite a bit this year compared to other seasons. I've been riding a lot more. We got a lot more miles um, so far this year than I have in previous years. So, despite the crazy heat that has been uh, that we've been experiencing, I've managed to get on a bike quite often. So. I've got this little Excel spreadsheet that breaks down the, the mileage per month over a given year. And it breaks it down to, you know, the mileage per bike as well. And I've, I've been doing pretty good this year in terms of racking up the miles on the bikes. Despite the high temperatures, so I'm kind of proud of myself there. But yeah. I thought I'd ride the Super Tenere today. I've got some errands to run. It is August the 8th, 2022. I've got to say, this year is flying by. It's going quite fast. And for the most part, it's been a pretty decent year. Things could be better, but hey, things could be a lot worse. So be thankful for where you're at and what you've got, right? Well, yeah, a lot of discussions out there in the bike world about the future of motorcycling, or shall I say the future of combustion engines when it comes to motorcycling. Emission standards are something that manufacturers are looking at and responding to. So, uh, I listened to a podcast not too long ago that talked about the future of electric motorcycles. Looks pretty bright for electric motorcycles. Not, not too great in the long term for normal gas engine motorcycles but that's way off in the future by then chances are I'll be done with riding by the time electric motorcycles becomes uh, you know more common than gas powered motorcycles I'll chances are I'll be done riding by then thinking another 15 20 years I don't know it could be sooner than that but my plan is to keep riding until I'm at least 70, if not, if not longer. So I'm 55 now, so I've got a few more years to go. But yeah, folks, man, it's been a crazy summer for motorcycle accidents here in San Antonio. Seems like every time I turn around, there's another, another uh, serious uh, motorcycle accident. And unfortunately, most of the time it looks like the uh, bikers who have been involved in these crashes have not or did not have a valid license. So again, as I said in previous videos, if you guys want to ride motorcycles, I encourage you to take the motorcycle safety course. Lots of good information in that course. Don't just hop on a bike or buy a bike, hop on it and ride. Take the dang course. I guarantee you it will be worth it. Totally guarantee it. In terms of trips, I'm looking at doing maybe a couple of trips uh, 
as soon as things calm down or cool off a bit and it's been just freaking hot as uh what the 31st of uh july we've had 51 days over 100 degrees that's crazy so yeah i definitely want to ride i definitely want to take a trip but it will happen once things cool off a bit more yeah i'm running the errand but i'm um, taking a long way to my errand just to get some miles on this super tenere i've been putting more miles on the gold wing lately i think so far this year i've got like 43 percent of my miles on the gold wing 30 something percent on this bike and the rest on my MT-10 or FZ-10. So the Gold Wing's been getting more play this year. It's just so comfy. Got everything I need. But yeah, this bike is still my favorite. Sentimentally my favorite bike. And my MT, man, that is a blast to ride. I usually take it out on Sundays when I ride with this group. They ride pretty spirited, let's just say that. Awesome bike to ride. I really don't see any new bike in my future, you know. I don't, I don't really have a burning desire to get an, another bike or an, or an additional bike. The only bike I've been looking at is that uh, Indian Dark Horse. I like the looks of that bike. But uh, in terms of any other bike out there that I may want to add to the stable or replace one of my existing bikes with, I really don't have a strong desire to do that. So I'm happy with what I got for right now. Yeah, I've had this Super Tenere for eight years and I've had the MT-10 for, wow, six years. Man, time's flying. And a gold wing now for three years. But I'm pretty happy with what I got. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take the, the way long way to my errand. I think I'm gonna do a quick ride on PR-37. All right, PR-37. One of the twistier roads in the San Antonio area. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about here. ran into a few people who absolutely hate this road but I love it I love it so much and you gotta be careful right here a lot of fallen rocks here sometimes after a rainstorm, but then again, it hasn't rained in a while. It's been pretty dry here in South Texas. We need some rain. Need quite a bit of it.
Yeah, baby. Great practice, folks. Find you a nice curvy road and get some practice in. I definitely need more practice. What I need is some track days under my belt. But in the absence of that, a nice little ride on your local twisty can pay dividends to work or whatever you got to do. All right, nothing like taking a long way around. Now it's time to run my errand. All right, you guys. Great talking to you again. You guys be safe out there. And I will talk to you later. Peace.